Today I will be discussing a term which is more commonly used in physics. It is the potential energy. So first I will be discussing about uh, what potential energy is and why is it coming into picture. Then uh, I will be discussing about uh, in what cases or when does this come into picture. And uh, that gives a lot of information or good understanding of potential energy. Then later on we will proceed into some mathematical description and other things. First of all, what is potential energy? Potential energy, potential energy is energy contained by any particle because of its presence in a particular location. What I mean is that suppose this uh, is a location in space and if there is a particle here, it may have some energy because of its presence there or if the same particle is present at another location then it may have some other energy. So this uh, energy carried or possessed by the particle because of its mere presence in particular location is called potential energy. For example, uh, if this chalk piece is there, it has some potential energy which we have, um, which most of us know which is equal to mgh. Why does it come into picture? So, it comes into picture because of this reason. Suppose that this region or this space or this region of blackboard, there is a force field which, uh, by which I mean that there is a force acting at every point. Okay, an example of this is our space, space in which we live that is the space of, uh, that is the surface of earth. On surface of earth, we have something called gravitational force of attraction. So if, the, if I place this chalk piece here or if I leave it in space, then it will suffer a downward force and hence it accelerates downward. So if I keep it here, it will have certain force. It will keep, if I keep it here, it will have force. So every point in this space, if I keep any particle at any point, then that particle is subjected to force. Such a field in which force exists, we call it a force field. Now let us suppose that this region is a force field, this blackboard region is a force field and consider two points A and B and consider a particle which is moving from A to B. So as it is, get, that is, as it is moving from A to B or other, in other words as it is getting displaced at every point during its journey it will be subjected to a force by the force field and as well it has certain displacement. Because of this we can say that work is being done by the force field and this work is being done means force field is losing some energy that energy gets stored in the particle which we call it potential energy. So if a particle moves from A to B then what happens is that the force field does some work or it delivers certain energy to the particle. So when the particle goes to B uh, it gains certain energy. That energy gained by it because of its mere location at B, we call it potential energy. One more thing, potential energy is a term which is location specific. That is, its value depends only on the position. We'll understand more when I discuss about, uh, when I move to the next, uh, next topic. That is, when does potential energy come into picture? Now, let's suppose that uh, uh, there is a force field and uh, if this is a force field, can we always guarantee that there exists potential energy? We have to think about it, we have to discuss about it. That's how uh, it goes on discussion. So, uh, let us suppose that a particle is at A and it has zero energy, that is no energy and this is a force field and particle moves from A to B, so it gains an energy E1. This energy E is uh, gained by the particle because of the work done by the force field. Now, the same particle, let us suppose that it is taken through another path, there is path 1 and there is path 2. So, when it was taken from A to B through path 1, it gained an energy E1. Now, suppose if it, uh, is take, when it is taken from uh, A to B along path 2, if it gains an energy E2, let us suppose. Now, in this case, I, ca I cannot say a precise value for the energy of the particle when it is located at B if E1 and E2 are not equal. What I mean is that suppose E1 is not equal to E2. Now 
I say that particle is brought from A to B. Okay, so what is its energy when it is at B? We cannot say whether it is even or E2 because we are not aware of the information whether it is brought from uh, through path 1 or through path 2. Or in other words, the energy contained by the particle at this position does not depend on its position but it depends on path. But whereas our definition for potential energy is that energy possessed by the particle because of its mere location in space. So, if E1 and E2 are not equal, then we cannot associate a term called potential energy which is location specific. Whereas, if E1 and E2 are equal, let's say they are equal to E, then I can say that uh, the particle's energy is E if it is at B, irrespective of the path across which it is brought. So, potential energy can be defined in a force field only if the work done by the force field across all the paths possible from A to B, uh, the work done by all, uh, all the, uh, the work done by the force field across all the paths must be same. In other words, we can say like this. So, first of all, like the point that we have is that potential energy exists only if the work done by force field is path independent. Now, consider a path A to B like this. Let's say it is 1. And from B to A, it's not B, A to B, it's B to A, I'm giving it another name, path 2. Work done by the force field when particle moves from A to B is let us suppose W, then work done by the force field when the particle moves from B to A is minus W. We can show this like this. Work done from A to B is nothing but integral of or like force field is applying some force which is F bar and it is dot with displacement ds bar there is a small displacement and I sum up all the works done from A to B this I am calling it W now work done from B to A I will write it as uh, ok or what we can do is F bar B to A across path 2 Okay, so that is, we are moving in this direction from B to A. This, I can say that across the same path, instead of moving from B to A, I will move from A to B, then the displacement reverses its direction. So, we have this relation, that is, work done from B to A across path 2 is same as work done from A to B with a negative sign across the same path. This is minus of work done from A to B. But we know work done from by the force field, from force field from A to B is nothing but W which is path independent. So this would be equal to minus W. So, work done from A to B, if it is W, then work done from B to A is minus W. So, therefore, work done in the closed loop would be 0. So, this statement which says P exists only if work done by force field is path independent can be said also as P exists only if work, work done in any closed loop is 0. This in higher mathematics or higher physics you will see this, constraint, uh, this condition mathematically becomes L bar cross F bar is null vector. Where F bar is a force field and L cross is the operator. So, so if, you are, if you are aware of this it is good. Uh, Alright, so you may skip this point. Okay.